All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about the basic introduction to what a cell camera is and what to expect. Here at Blackgate, we have two cell cameras. We have the R4G and the R4G Lite. Both of these cameras work pretty much identical when it comes to finding cell network. The difference between a cell camera and a regular camera is going to be basically that the cell camera, instead of just taking an image and then storing it on an SD card while well, you have to go grab the SD card physically, the camera will then use cell signal to transfer that media over to our server, which then our server will process that image and then send you a notification through the Blackgate mobile app where you're able to view that media. So really that's the only difference between a cell camera and a normal camera. Now keep in mind, since they are cell cameras, they do require some form of cell network or cell signal in the area that you're gonna be placing them. One way to find this out is to take your phone out. And if your phone has signal, more than likely a Blackgate camera is gonna have signal. Now, in some cases, like in my property, I have no cell phone reception at all, but the Blackgate cameras work. So knowing that, you can take a Blackgate camera out to your property or wherever you're gonna be placing them. And before you put them on a tree, go ahead and turn that camera on. It may take a minute, but it's gonna scan all the networks in the area, and then it's gonna find that best, strongest network it can find, and then it's going to attempt to connect to that. Once the camera has connected to that network, then you know that you're pretty good to go wherever you wanted to put the camera in that general vicinity. All right, so let's talk about the one SIM technology that we use in all our cell cameras here at Blackgate. The one SIM technology is basically a roaming card where we have contracted with almost all the major networks, including Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, US Cellular, you name it. And a lot of some of the other sub carriers that they sublease to. The one SIM allows us to connect to just about every network, no matter where we're at but it's important to know that you do need cell network. You need some form of signal where you're at. Just because we can connect to almost all of them doesn't mean that there is signal where you need to place the camera. One of the things to keep in mind with the one SIM technology on the cameras is that it does require scanning every time that the camera is turned on. You may be testing the camera at home. It may be functioning, it may be working. You turn it off and you wanna go into the field. But what I would recommend is when you get into the field and you or getting ready to put it on a tree, go ahead and turn that camera on, give it a minute. It's gonna scan all the networks. It's gonna find that best signal that it can find. And then it's gonna to attempt to connect to that. That way you're not wasting your time putting it on a tree in an area that just don't have cell signal. All right, let's talk about the transmission time. How long does it take for an image or video to get from a cell camera to your Blackgate mobile app? Transmission times typically range from about 15 seconds to 40 seconds, just depending on the signal level that you have where the camera is at. It may take a little longer if the signal is more poor in that area. And if you have the opportunity to move that camera to a better reception area, then that's what we recommend. The next thing I want to talk about is the SD card that you will use in a cell camera, especially our cameras. Here in my hand, I have a 32 gigabyte SanDisk Pro U3 Class 10 SD card. This is the SD card or the style of SD card that we highly recommend running in the Blackgate trail cameras. Blackgate supports a 16 to 64 gigabyte SD card. Don't use something lower than 16 and don't go above 64 gigabytes. Visit blackgatehunting.com if you have any doubts on which SD card to use. The SD cards that we sell or branded by us are built specifically with the specifications that are required for Blackgate cameras. So the last thing I'm gonna talk about is the batteries for cell cameras. Cell cameras traditionally use more data than your standard camera. That is because they do have a modem, the same type of connection that your phone uses, and it will use more battery power when it transmits more data over the network. So keep in mind that you wanna use good batteries. You don't wanna use off-brand batteries. You can use lithium or you can use some good Duracells or Energizers, whatever your pick is, but just make sure that they're a good brand, good, reliable battery. So while we're on the topic of batteries, the whole point of a cell camera is that you don't have to visit the camera every time you wanna pull the media off the card or every time you need to change the batteries, right? You don't wanna go into the woods more than you have to. So what we highly recommend is a solar panel. We also sell that at our website at blackgatehunting.com. Solar panels are absolutely fabulous for any type of cell cameras. They're gonna allow you to run the camera nonstop all year long without having to visit that camera at all. 